this is going to change my life. And it's going to change his. San Lento is done. His career was all the way up. And it just fell back all the way down. Hello and welcome to Uncut, live from our studio in Dubai. The audio and visual podcast show that gives you exclusive scoop on our guests and hot topics including some yes, of your sir. favorite celebrities. And now, let the fun begin. Here's your host, S1. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. Good morning. That voice, that squeak. Do it again. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another Uncut episode. I hope you guys are feeling good. Um, with us today is someone who had one of the biggest songs of 2015. It was on Billboard Hot 100 for a whole entire year and reached top three with over 1.7 billion views on YouTube right 1. now. 1.7 now. Yes, 1.7. Uh, we have the artist behind the hit song, Watch Me, Silento. Silento, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's it's time good, to get uncut and raw. Yes, are you feeling good? Welcome to Dubai. I'm feeling good, man. I was so turned up last night, man. I woke up this morning, and I'm in here, and I'm looking fly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like the custom bandana, uh, Silento. Shout out, shout out to Princess London, my little sister. She got it for me. Oh, really? That's yeah. dope. That's dope. Um, so how old are you now? I'm 22. 22. And my birthday was just January 22nd. Yeah. So this is my year. This is, you're an Aquarius. Like you. you. Yeah, we're the same. I mean, bro, Aquarius are the best, right? We're very, we're most definitely very intelligent when it comes to figuring out things that need to be created. All right. That's our talent and nobody can take that from us. Entertainment is, um, there's a lot of Aquarius in, it, in the entertainment business. Most definitely, because when it comes to entertainment, it's a part of, it's basically you're creating something somebody loves. So true. this is our occupation. That's true. I heard you made this song when you were 14 years old in your basement. Yeah, and no, in the bathroom, or the basement of my aunt's, my great aunt's house, who took me in when I was 13. She took me in when I was 13. Cause my mom has some, some problems right. or whatever. So she took me in, and she didn't understand me as a person. She didn't right. know how creative I was. She didn't know anything like that. She just knew the environment that I came from, right? And the way that I acted because I didn't have nobody around me to teach me right. how to be successful. So I had to sit in my bathroom and create something for me that the whole world would accept because she wouldn't understand. Because of where I came from. So yeah. what you're trying to say is your aunt wasn't supporting the music. No. So you went to your basement and recorded stuff. In my bathroom. Yeah. Basically and, and hiding. Sink. Like. Yeah. In my own world. Hiding it from her. Okay. Creating something that everybody else going to accept. And she not right. going to know why. Because when people close to you, they love you. So right. they won't see your creative side. Right. Right. And did when you say when you did that song, did you know it was gonna be big? Yes. I um even the producer that recorded me, I begged him six months and he told me no. So when I really did when I got a chance to do the song for Christmas, right. that was basically like my Christmas present, he gave it to me. He actually let me record it. The okay. first day it got a thousand plays, the second day it was ten thousand. And from that day forward I was sitting in my classroom with my phone in my hand. Refreshing the plays, it was millions. That's crazy. Sometimes in life, adults have to listen because they don't know how creative we are. Right. Yeah. Do you feel like that was, was that, did you have any like struggles in terms of getting your music out? Did no, you start? No, not at all because I came from an environment where I controlled. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say that I was very positive as a young kid because I was very, very outgoing i did everything i wanted to do and i'm not gonna say i was the best person me becoming the best person is when i became silent toe. okay yeah that's how my life changed so you think for the better the fame the money 
and everything brought you good? No, I didn't get no money until I turned 18. I graduated from school with my aunt and gave it to me. Okay. Because she was she's already successful. So she didn't just give me that because she felt like okay. if I would have got that, somebody would I was I would allow myself to be around people that want to take it from me and I would be killed. So right. she didn't give it to me. She protected me and she kept it from okay. me. She didn't let me jump into this without me experiencing school and right. education. She made sure that I graduated from high school before. Okay. She let me make my own decisions. And then when you turned 18, you got a big check? Yeah. <laughs> and what did you do? Bought a Rolls Royce. I bought me an AP. You bought your yeah, yourself first, an AP? Yeah, I only spent 65000 Okay. I'm not going to go crazy. One, because guess what? She kept me in school. All right. Meaning, you I, didn't, were, I didn't never had the mindset to spend money. Right. So I didn't do it until I got 18. Okay. That's smart. So you don't, it didn't affect you in a negative way when you turned 18? No. How did you handle the thing? I just was upset that they didn't tell me what I had. Okay. Because I deserved to know. Meaning, you could have told me that you felt like I was going to spend all my money at 16. Instead of hiding it from me. Okay. But I didn't I wouldn't understand that at sixteen. Right. So she did what she was supposed to do. How did the fame affect you? I was already famous. I have dimples. When you have dimples, anybody who has <laughs> dimples. When you have dimples, it's a defect in the way that you was born. Everybody supposed to have cheeks. So when somebody has dimples, they wasn't developed. Properly okay. in the stomach. Okay. And that's why I have dimples. And since I have dimples, it's a defect. God loves all of us. Yeah. So people love me. They show me extra attention. This brings extra attention because I wasn't born correctly. And not because it's cute or girls find no, it cute? they find it cute because God made it. He, ma he makes everything happen for a reason. Right. People with dimples get more attention because we was not develop properly like i was born with all type of drugs in my system all right you know my dad my mom she did stuff too but at the same time as a person it do bother us we feel some type of way and we don't tell nobody right we don't tell nobody not because we don't want we don't know how to because we was born different right so what god did for me he made me famous at 16 because i didn't know how to tell people how i felt Right. So he made me a celebrity. So now the whole world knows Silento. Right. And I got to tell the whole world how I deal with my struggles and how I overcame them. Because him making me famous made me overcame every obstacle that I couldn't by myself. That's amazing. And that's what the fame do to us. It make us overcome the obstacles that we can't and all our struggles. I'm glad that you look at it that way. Yeah. Because, um, you know, there's two ways of looking at it. And uh, I'm I'm happy to hear that you're looking at it from that angle. Um, did you start making music earlier or was yeah, that? Yeah, I used to record on my phone Yeah. Uh, when I was like 11, 12. I used to record what I was doing with my friends and stuff like that. Okay. And um, when, when you did that dance behind that song, what, was that your idea? Yeah, um, I worked on it for six months. Actually, before six months, I, you I had the on song the dance. in 2014. Okay. Yeah, it's just that people around me be jealous of me and envious. So right. they don't believe me. And I'm so funny. We play too much. Aquarius right. play too much. And we entertain. And so people look at us as a joke. So everybody mm. who took me as a joke and didn't believe in my song, when it took off, they got mad. Right. They wasn't mad at me. I know you ain't mad at me. You mad at yourself because you didn't believe. Right. That's why they mad. Because they couldn't ride the wave? Because they didn't believe. Mm. But I ain't mad at you, though. It's okay. Well, who, it's okay. Who, who is one example? Would you, Could you drop, like, not a name, but, like, somebody, was it a friend? I'm a... I'm a yeah, a friend. I'm, 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 I'm a, I am ain't, ain't gonna try to disrespect nobody. I'm finna just tell you how it is. Right. Okay. When I became famous, like I said, 
Nobody close to me believed me. They thought I was a joke. Right. Right. So I had this close friend with me, you know. He closer to me than anybody else that's coming into my life after this point. Okay. I made sure that I passed all my classes. The agreement was this. We make straight A's, we go on the road. Right. The whole time I was silent until he lied. Mm. He took interviews like he was actually doing what I was doing. He act like he was on the same page as me. Okay. And then when I found out, it ain't that I feel like you're not a good friend. It's just that you lied to me and you don't do that to me. Right. With him lying to me, he's walking around with guilt. Mm. I know I already knew what was going on. I'm not going to say anything. That's why right. my name is Silento. Yeah. So what he did was he ruined our friendship. He oh, ruined so. his opportunity to be here right now because he lied. When you need help, you tell your friend. You don't keep quiet. Right. You tell your friend when you need help. Your friend is the one who's going to help you. If you don't tell your friend, you're not getting no help. That's true. Yeah, and if you betray your friend, you're done. And if you betray me, you're done. Period. Right. So it's just, you know, and don't nobody know how to live to be a friend for a celebrity. Like, think about it. You knew Michael Jackson before you knew Jesus. Hmm. And now you know Silento. That's what it is. Okay. I ain't saying I'm God. I'm just well known. Right. That's all. I didn't create a song saying this, that, curse words. I didn't curse the world. I was positive the whole time. So people right. who love my song... Needed positivity in their life. Are you a sensitive person? Because Aquarius are generally very emotional and sensitive. I was sensitive before I was famous. Man, when I say sensitive, sensitive towards love of my family because I ain't have my dad in the house with me ever. It was me and right. my mama and her sister, her mother, my big sister. It was me and seven women in one house. Right. So it was no man. I was the man. Right. So when it comes to being sensitive, I'm only sensitive for women. When right. it comes to a man, I'm not sensitive about none of that. Right. Nothing. I'm a man. I've been a man the whole time I was born. There's yeah. no way I can be sensitive about a man or what another man does. I will only be sensitive with a woman. Do you feel like you're missing a friend like that you really want close no. to you? I got my best friend already. Okay. Because everybody else crossed themselves out. I know who my best friend is. Because a lot of people, is it a new friend or old no. friend? No. Old friend. We've been friends for three years now. Okay. Because a lot of friends come, right? Like when you're a celebrity, out of nowhere, everyone wants to be your friend. People, How do you filter? People think they're your friend when you're a celebrity. You can't be, if you, if you have, any feeling of a person that you don't know and you like them or you like, if you like what they do and you like their work, you're a fan. You're not a friend. Right. To be someone's friend, you spend time with them. You know their problems. You know their issues and you help them fix it. You're not a friend until you do that. That's a friend. When you say Silento came the meaning of silento is you keep silent. Is that does that mean you're a good um, uh, secret keeper or yeah yeah? I'm a good, I'm the best friend. And you don't you don't. I talk. don't tell. No, I didn't tell nobody until I'm 22. <clears throat> Do you feel like people, your friends, or people around you are the same, or they're the no, opposite? They're not. They're not because they're not an Aquarius. And if they were Aquarius, they would be? Yeah, and if they grew up like I did, they would. It's just all about how we grow up, if we got our parents or not. Right. You got to be around somebody to show you love while you're young, when you don't understand. Because when you grow up by yourself, it's, it's different. It's like I told you I grew up with seven women, meaning I was caring, I was giving, I was teaching. I was whatever they messed up at, my mom messed up at, my sister, whatever I saw I had to fix. 
Right. Because I was a kid. It's a certain type of way a kid has to grow up. They have to support, love, and care for us and teach us. And I was teaching everybody around me when I was a kid. Meaning yeah. I had to go and learn myself for them to make things From better. From a young age. Yeah. From a very young age. Yeah. Well, but it's okay, you. though. Like, I was strong enough to do it because I'm a man. A man is strong enough to do that because this is what we are made to do. That's not right. their job. As a woman to do that They're supposed to love and care and reproduce Us So this can continue All Right. Yeah True um, Are you in a relationship right now? Um. Yeah Yeah. With um, my close friend The closest one I love That's my best relationship I mean with, with a girl Maybe right? yeah Okay I am <laughs> I feel and like I'm married to be honest Really? Yeah are you married? Yeah, actually, you really can say that. Yeah, you. Are. I ain't got no rings yet, no. but yeah. Okay, are you planning uh, to start a family of your own yeah. anytime soon? Yeah, I'm. I'm an adult now. I'm past twenty one. I'm twenty two. So you're ready to go. Yeah, but I'm not gonna move fast. I'm gonna take my time. I ain't okay. supposed to do that. I saw my mom have my sister at an early age. I saw what it did to her. Right. So I am not gonna do that. Learn from previous mistakes. You learn. One thing I learned in America and where I'm from and why everybody unsuccessful and going through struggles. When you have a child, tell them your mistakes. Because if you don't, we're going to go through struggles and we're going to leave you where you at because you ain't tell the truth. You're supposed to tell your child what you've been through. All right. And all the parents who think that you're not supposed to, you really do. And when you don't, you create a barrier between us and we feel like you betrayed us. It take a real person to go through all of this and become a celebrity to tell y'all. We have to overcome the feeling of you not telling us. You don't communicate with us and you made us. You betraying us. You're supposed to talk to us, but you don't. Meaning, whatever we do, from you not telling us the truth after you have us in your stomach and we're born, you get held accountable for it. So, like, you got sometimes kids who become successful and they forget about their parents. It's your fault. It's not our fault. You wasn't being truthful and you didn't make the connection while we was babies. You let us grow up to meet other people and make a connection with them instead. Mm. So when we follow with the person we fall in love with, tell us, and it lead us down the wrong path. It's your fault because you created us. It's your fault. But when we do stuff and we know that you told us, it's our fault, not yours. Right. Yeah. When was the last time you toured? I'm in Dubai. So you're touring now? Yeah. You're touring based off what? An album, singles? Yeah, I got an album out, um, Fresh Out of High School. It's, it's out? Yeah, Fresh Out of High School. One and two, and my new music group, Silent Toe Mob, that's out too. And I got one more album I'm about to drop. I'm thinking about dropping it while I'm in Dubai. I got a song with Mo Vlogs. Okay. My bro, um, and Sean. And I want to make sure that when all this drops, I want to drop all this at the same time. I got a new single called Dubai. I shot the music video here like. Four weeks ago, okay. I came back here. I just got my first draft today of the video. Oh, it's nice. not done yet. I shot a video of Mo Vlogs last time I was here too. Okay, I saw okay. I saw the trailer. I saw that on 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 his post. Yeah, I like that. I'm I'm excited I think, for that. I one. think this song right here with me and Mo Vlogs just gonna change my life, and it's gonna change his. That's that's he crazy. officially gonna be a rapper when this song come out. Oh. He's going to be a rapper officially. <laughs> I think he's been waiting for that. Officially. You know, I get the real feedback about music. That's crazy. So I came to Dubai and I did him a favor. I gave him a real song. That's dope. He got a real hit song. And when are you planning on releasing that? Um, I think we're releasing it in a couple of days. We're meeting today. Okay. To that's, finish up the paperwork. That's exciting. Why did you release the two albums in one year? 
fresh right. out of high, high school. Because I'm fresh out of high school, I never got a chance to be Silento. Like I said, my aunt kept me in school to get my education. She protected me from people that I didn't know. She protected me. And she she said God told her not to let me go. Right. So she didn't let me go. She kept telling me, go to college, go to college, go to college. Because that was her journey. Since I'm like, I'm older now, I understand. Like, I've been, I, actually, I overstand. I don't understand. Hmm. I overstand now. And God controls us all. He just kept her in because she was molded through education. She got all the knowledge. And I didn't have none. Mm -hmm. I had the knowledge of the streets and the struggles. So when that merged together, I had to become Silento. Can you do the Silento? The, the Silento! Silento! <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah. you know, man, this is all a blessing. I'm a blessing to everybody in the world, man, because... The things I've been through and the things that I've overcame is what you haven't yet. But I'm here to tell you that no matter what, I always keep a smile on your face. While I was going through all my struggles, I still smiled. You know what really right. made me more happier as a person, as Silento? When I make other people happy. Because a person who is not happy going to treat you better than you treat them because they want that back. Mm. And in life... You, you treat people how you want to be treated. The person who taught me that was my great-grandmother, my aunt's right. mother. And do you live by that? Yeah, because it made me who I am today. It made me successful. Treat people how you want to be treated. 100%. I agree with that. All right, let's talk about a rumor in 2018. Um, there was a rumor that you were stabbed. And died. And um, did you hear about that one? I did, but honestly, I was supposed to go to the BET Awards and I had a camera seat. Okay. And I didn't show up because of a personal issue. And then that came out. Okay. And that's all I got to say about that. But I didn't get stabbed in real life. Mentally, I got stabbed because I'm Silento. And was was that when um, your Twitter was a Twitter got hacked, or was it on Instagram? When because I think you posted that right. That was there was something that was posted on your page. I posted it. You posted it. I did. Okay. I posted it on my page because I saw it, and I wanted to let people know that it's I didn't true. die. But I still wanted to see the reaction to my fans. Right. Who really love me and who really don't? If you're a dedicated fan, I know you and I love you. And if you're not, I know you. Right. That was for me to get the real before I take off again. Mm. You get to see who real and who not. Fans and haters. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I like. I, I play like. games just like you. <laughs> <laughs> he plays games just like you but <laughs> no nah, I didn't die one of my I, I met a fan though at a show and I was very nice to him and he was like you should be very you should be more famous you should be I love you dude you're so nice why are you not more famous why people don't show you the respect and stuff you're supposed to get All right. because of the way you are okay he made memes you know like on Instagram and like social yeah. media those pictures like that yeah I think he made that a fan uh, made that to make me more famous because they want people to support me and listen to my music because it's good. I'm a right. good person. So my fans doing that. Not to mm. make people think that I'm I'm leaving or whatever. It's to make more people react to me and actually come and see what I'm doing. Yeah. So did you do it for publicity or no? No. Did you want that? Kind of, kind of, though. At the same yeah. time, I kind of did, though. It was like half and half. Okay. It was it was for me to to understand who I was, right, and to understand how people felt about me, right, right. So it was both. You got a little bit of both, right? Yeah, but it wasn't for it to make anybody upset to think that I left or not. Right. It just showed me how much you care about me. I just showed the world how much people care about each other. That's what I showed you. What do you say to people who say, you know what, 
Silento is done. His career was all the way up and it just fell back all the way down. Um, let me just be honest as to why I didn't do a second single. The producer didn't believe in me for six months. He was entitled to 70% of everything I made. I didn't understand how the money comes in this business and where mm. it comes from. Mm. He understood before me because he got... He was older. He got, yeah. Okay, so with that being said, yeah, my first single, I'm going to sacrifice that. Right. But if I make a sacrifice, it's going to be a big one. And it was a big one. Right. So for my second time, for me becoming a man, becoming older, you don't get that twice. You get that once. Because I was a blessing to you. I asked for this life. I begged for it. I prayed for it. And I actually went through everything I'm supposed to go through so nobody else go through it that I take under me. But at the same time, the producer put my song up for sale without permission when I was 16. Told me I'll, if I go with somebody else, they're going to steal from me. No. You stole first because they stole from you. So and he took my credentials saying he created my song. When you really didn't, you didn't believe for six months. You didn't create it at all. So he put your song, song out. Yes, on TuneCore and put his name up there like he did it and collected all the money at first. And, and we're Capital Records about- came to me, my email. I got the email. But he told my parents he got it first. He lied. And he manipulated my family into not supporting Salento. Not listening to the, the person who actually asked for this. And we're talking about Watch Me. Yeah, and he Aquarius. Oh. But he a hurt Aquarius. Hmm. There you go. So when the earnings did come in, did they eventually go to him? Oh, yeah. Half of it. I gave him half without signing for it because I got manipulated. Hmm. You got cheated into it. Yeah. Before I signed my record deal, my contract, God told me, don't sign it. And I told him I didn't want to sign it. Something don't feel right. He said he was going to be with me the whole way. Is he here today? Mm. No. Every man is for self. So don't ever believe another man going to stand beside you. Only a woman can because that's what she's made for. So a lot of artists have hits, all right? A lot of yeah, artists Yeah, everybody get, everybody got a hit. Get Billboard records too. But nobody has a hit that stays for that long on the Billboards and really went viral, right? Yes. A lot of people will say this will never come again. Yes, It's that's what the label time. told me. This happens every once in a blue moon. And When is the moon the color blue? Right. Now, here's the thing. Because this happens every now and then, you know, <laughs> um, they say for someone like you, it's even harder because expectations are here. No, it's not. I created it by myself and nobody else helped me. It's not hard. I created it. I'm me. I'm myself. Right. I created it. Meaning you can't do it. So even if you tried, it'll never be like that. Because I did it myself when nobody else believed in me. You can't do it. But how are you going to get another one? I do have another one. I got Watch Me Part Two. I just didn't shoot the music video. Because this time I wanted to be better than the first time. On a bigger scale. If I sold 15 million records on Watch Me With Worldwide, this time I do it again, I got to double it. Right. So before I, I put my video out, I'm going to put a whole body of different songs in each genre out first. And as soon as those, one of those take off, then I'm going to shoot the video. For Watch Me Part two. two. And is it is it a similar concept? Oh, it's more faster. It's the same concept. It's faster and it's, it's better. Oh, wow. It's way better. Much better. Go check it out. And every fan that listens to it, They know that it's like that. They right. know that. Do you, um, are you independent right now? Yeah, I've been independent since, for like two, three years now. 
you know, my first time coming to Dubai, doing interviews and stuff like that. You know, I went to the radio station and I played all my new music. And mm-hmm. all my fans in Dubai was calling, saying play it again. So I was trending on right. the radio. They was playing all my music all day. Nice. Okay, the label called me and told me that I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that without them because I was signed to them. I had an agreement that I was working with them, not by myself. Mm. I was never trying to go against my agreement because I know the business. Right. Because I'm smart. I'm not dumb. It's just that I was underage and I had people around me that was manipulating them to thinking that I didn't know. And I really, I did. It wasn't what yeah. they thought at all. So when I came out here, they immediately wanted me to come back. But when I came back, we had a meeting and I said, you know, y'all ain't doing it. Y'all, no, y'all didn't communicate with me. Y'all thought this this person who wasn't my father or my mother ran my life. They lied. He lied to y'all like he lied to me. He lied to y'all like he lied to me, and 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 it ruined my relationship with them. But I'm not mad at the label. I'm not mad. Everything happened for a reason. That was Everything capital. For a reason. Yeah, I love capital. It's universal. I love universal. I love capital records. I love everybody. But I really dislike the producer that I work with. Not because I, I'm I'm a hatred. I got hate in my heart. It's not like that. It's just I can't. Once you do me wrong, I'm not your friend no more. So like. That's what it is. If you weren't doing music, what would you do? Beating people up. Beating people up. Yeah. You'd be in the streets? Yeah. That's where I came from. Yeah. I just prayed to get out. It wasn't your your thing. It wasn't my thing. I ain't want to be like the way I was as a child, but that's just the community I came from. That's just where I came from, and I can't. Go against that. So when people make me upset, sometimes I get angry. I go right back to that mindset. And where did you come from? What area? Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Do you feel that, where do you live now? Are you in, still in Atlanta or yeah. are you? Yeah. You didn't move to LA, Hollywood life? No. I don't, I would never leave where I came from because it made me who I am today. It's no point. It's just right. the people where I'm from got to understand not understand, overstand who I am. I did this for y'all. Not right. for me, for y'all. Because I still could be, I could be a rapper and still be that same person in the streets. But I took myself out of that element. Somebody had to do it. Ain't nobody do it. Ain't nobody do it. How did your uh, family react when the song went so big? To this day. My mom, my mom, my my real mom don't even know who I really am to you. She don't mm. know. Or my dad. They don't know who I am. It take other people to tell them. Mm. That's how mentally depressed they is from their childhood. That they don't know who their child is. But I'm not upset or mad with them. My job is to let you know that you ain't got to be afraid or you ain't got to be scared or you ain't got to feel sad of what you went through. I understand, not understand. You turned, um, your sister sings, right? My little sister. Yeah, your little. Did you, was that an inspiration? Did you inspire her? Did you turn her into Yeah, her dad died when she was four or three years old. Okay. And my son was the biggest thing in the world. It was the biggest thing ever. And they showed me on Nickelodeon, Disney. So I was presented to kids in a way nobody else was. All right. Okay. So all the kids... Love me more than adults did at that time. Right. Right. So if her dad died, she needed love. She loved me. So when she connected with me, that that's what she stuck with. When a woman needs love, whatever she fall in love with, that's where it's going to stay. When a child doesn't have their father, they're looking for love. Right. Yeah. So How- I learned. I really learned, like... At Salento, how to how people need love because right. I needed it too. I didn't really know the, the specifics and stuff like that, but I just did this just to learn that. Well, you learn. You seem to have learned quite a bit on this journey. Most definitely. What are you watching on Netflix now? I don't watch Netflix. I am Netflix. No time for Netflix. The only thing I like watching it on Netflix um, is like. Murder cases. 
Oh yeah. Uh, like the real like life. Uh, yeah, real life stuff. Like, I don't documentaries. like documentaries. <laughs> yeah, real stuff. Cause that's what I. I grew up with real stuff in front of me. I saw a lot of things. Right. So I want to when I watch some, I gotta see that. I no can't see nothing fake. No fresh prints. None of that. None of that. I am the Fresh Prince. I like the same way Will Smith got dropped off at his aunt and his uncle's house. That's my life. My aunt and uncle actually had the bank's last name. Are you serious? Yes, and they actually had a house like that. Oh, All that's of that. Crazy. So when I turned 13, that was my lifestyle from being a street. <laughs> straight yeah. to that lifestyle. It was hard for me to adapt, but I did the best I could because I only can do what I can. Mm -hmm. I was a kid. I only can do what I can. I can't do what you want. I only can do what I can because I'm a kid. I was a kid, but now I'm 22. I'm not a kid no more. I, un I understand the struggles and obstacles that I had to overcome. Tell me one thing you never told anyone before. Something that I really love everybody in the world just for who they are. You told that someone before. Oh, I didn't. I, I never told nobody on camera that I love everybody just to where they are. Even if you're a bad person, I love the way you are. Like, I just love being alive. I love to be alive. A lot of people dying. True. I love to be alive. I love to be alive. Is... What's the best advice you would give little kids today to those kids who look up to you? Stay positive. And anytime you need help, go look at my interviews and listen to what I said. I ain't tell you nothing wrong and I never would do that. Have you been beefing with anyone re recently? Honestly, let me put the cup down. <laughs> yeah. See, because then when the gangster side come back in, I don't beef with people. You threw they got shots a at who? You tell me what you think. <laughs> you threw shots at Lil Nas. Remember? He threw shots at me. Most of the artists in America, they know that I'm number one of the decade, and I haven't even been in the game a decade. A decade is ten years. My song got 1.7 billion views. I'm the only artist who didn't have a feature that got a billion views. I'm the 20 first person in the world to get a billion views, but I'm the first African American to do it. So they jealous. If you're going to talk about me at me, the reason they don't at me and, and be direct with me. Because if they do the whole world to know me again. Mm. Right. So that's why they don't do that. They just tweet and talk, but see, I know who I am. So if anybody say anything about me, they got a blue check mark. I know what you I know who you're talking about. And when I see you in person, I'm gonna let you know. Because I'm a real <laughs> I might say on Instagram, whoop the whoop, this and that, but they never respond to me. They never tag me. I can't name one rapper that tagged me. Not one. And you, <laughs> Not one. You're saying that's cause they don't want you that's to cause get they, there. That's cause I'm number one in the game and I run it. And if you go against the number one person. All your fans is my fans. If I had the whole world whipping the name and they still do it. Every time every person in the world have a child, they're going to dance to whip Nene. So, yeah, you got to think twice before you talk about me. Right. Because as soon as your, your child grow up loving me, yeah, they're not going to love you. <laughs> and your fans not. That's my fans. Uh, uh, right. So they can't do that. What about, what about um, who inspired you? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Anyone else? Yeah. Schoolboy from Rich Kids from Atlanta. Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. And Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Not so much as a person, just what he created, the song. That's what I got from him. But Schoolboy from Rich Kids, who signed the two chains now. Mm -hmm. That that's the person I actually like I like literally like. I used to sing all his songs and I couldn't sing. Like I broke my voice when I was like 10, 9, 8, 7, singing his songs. And I I learned how to sing because I was trying to be like him. I love what he was saying. He was singing about what I was going through. That's dope. Yeah, so schoolboy from Rich Kids. He don't even know, but now you know. 
Yeah, he a part of my inspiration. Him, Michael Jackson, Soldier Boy, and my parents. Nice. Are you going to be someone who will kind of lead by example to your kids? Are you yeah, always going to show I got, them? Yeah, that's all I can do. I'm a celebrity. When you're a celebrity, you are an um, icon living. We are icons living. So whatever we do for the people that follow us and love us, they're going to do. Or they're going to take some inspiration from what you do and apply it to their life. So I have to lead. I like that. I have to lead. I have to stay positive. I have to stay. Were you always this confident? Yeah. Always. I'm Aquarius. You know I'm confident. confident. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know true. that. Like That ain't even no question. Like I'm confident in everything I do. <laughs> no All matter right. what it is. Are you ready to play a game? Yeah, let's play. All right. This game is called <laughs> Would You Rather? Uh, so um, I'm going to give you options. And then you tell me what you would rather. All right? <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be the funniest person in the room? Or the most intelligent? Funny. Okay. Would you rather run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles per hour? I'm flying. Flying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. Would you rather speak your mind or never speak again? Never speak again. That's a deep one. Would you rather be a millionaire by winning the lottery or by working 100 hours a week? Working 100 hours a week. Would you rather be forced to dance every time you heard music or be forced to sing along to any song you heard? Would you rather be forced... <laughs> To dance every time you heard music or be forced to sing along to any song you heard? That that's a hard, that's a hard <laughs> one. You can tell you why it's hard because I do both every time. Are you serious? Yes. But to good or bad songs too? Bad songs I ain't listening to. So which so one I'm going to sing what I heard. You right. I'm going right. to sing what I heard. I'm going to sing what I heard. Would you rather live in a cave or live in a tree house? Come on, this is an easy one, bro. It's not easy because I would rather be in a treehouse on top of the cave. Why? Because I'm Silento. <laughs> and because. If you guys didn't learn anything today, you just <laughs> need to get away with because I'm Silento. If you have any problem, answer that, right? That's a good answer because yeah, I'm Silento. Say Silento. If you don't want to say anything bad to nobody, negative or positive, <laughs> hey, man, just say silento. That's good. That's it. That's it. That means let's talk more action. Well, you got to choose one. Treehouse or cave? I would say treehouse. Because you're older than me. Cave. I'm, yeah. I'm going in the cave. All right, bro. Good luck in that cave. <laughs> I'm going in the cave because I'm Batman. I can oh. come out and fly whenever I want. Yeah, true. Yeah. You fly 10 miles per hour. <laughs> no, not 10 miles per hour. I'm, I'm taking yeah. off like the fastest jet in the world. That's dope. Yeah. Because you're? Silent out. Silent out. <laughs> Would you rather eat a ketchup sandwich or a hot sauce sandwich. Hot sauce. I need some some excitement in my life, man. Yeah. <laughs> Salento. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have unlimited international first class tickets or never have to pay at a food restaurant again? Or never have to pay for food in a restaurant? Never had to pay for food. Because, hey, as long as I'm <laughs> eating, I'm good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you rather give Would you rather give up bathing for a month? Or give up the internet for a month? No, I give up the internet. You yeah. think I really care about people following me online? Think, think about it. Think about it. You're My mental. Instagram ain't like Lil Nas X. It ain't gotta be. You still know me in person. And I bet you wasn't following me before I came. Right. But you know who I am. Right. Right. 
So I leave the internet alone. That's not my. That's not me as a person. I like that. Would you rather have a completely automated home or a self-driving car? Automated home. Yeah. Yeah. James Bond style. Yeah. That's dope. I I dig that too. If you have one last thing, if you, if this was your last interview, God forbid. I'm just saying. What would one message that you want the whole world to know? What would it be? Be like me, and you'll be happy. Act anything outside of what I said that hurt me as a child, and you're gonna go through hell. You choose. Life is what you make. It's either heaven or hell. Choose. It's up to you. Nice. Can you do give us a little freestyle? Yeah, you got a beat for me, or you want me to just say something? Just, just flow something. And we'll put something. Let me see. Can I hear that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm Silento. Yes, I got the knowledge. I'm in Dubai. Yeah. He said, if I don't have another interview, you know who did it to me. Yeah. I don't <laughs> care about no haters. Uh, get this paper. Oh my God. See you later. I'm on the jet. I'm gone. I feel like I'm on the moon. Uh, hey. I'm out of space with it. Astronaut. Yeah, I'm tuned. Yeah, they mad at me because I'm taking out like a rocket. I do everything that I want and I don't need no socket because I'm the plug. Uh, I used to do drugs, but I had switched my life up. Now I got a new girl. You know I love her. We getting money. I'm so clever. I like the freestyle of my mind because I talk about my mother the way she treated me. Uh, they like they envy me, but uh, oh my God, oh my God, yes, he feeling me. I got all the blessings that you want. I live my life, I really talk, yeah, I use my tongue. Now, wait a minute, when I get that pen, you know that I write, and everything I say out my mouth, can you know that it's right. Uh, back in my life, I used to kick it like, ooh, uh, getting through ice, I used to break through the ice. Uh, in the trenches, yeah, we getting bags today. Getting hey. money, man, you know we getting paid today. I'm hey. from Atlanta, where you know we just spray every day. But you ain't gotta kill each other Cause we live in the day Sometimes you gotta be grateful For the things that you got uh, When I was at the bottom Used to wish I on top uh, mm. Seeing all these rappers Yeah they all on top But I never got jealous Because I know what I got I'm Silento I don't talk That's the lingo Get into this money Man they moving like I'm Pringles uh, When I'm single I mingle like a uh I ain't gonna hey. say too much, you know I keep it up. <laughs> Getting money, yeah, I run it up, just run it up. Man, shout out to my boy, I just gave you uncut. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Silento, and I hope you guys got a new face to Silento and got to know him. The real Silento. The real Silento. Not Silento no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The real the Silento. Silento. I like that. That's my Twitter name. That's his Twitter name. The, the real, real Silento. Silento. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming, my brother. I Good to see you, man. bro. And uh, I hope you come back to Dubai whenever you're here. I'm bringing my little up, sister. For yeah. Her birthday coming up. I'm bringing her to you. Yeah, bring her for sure. I want, I want to bring her. I want her to talk to you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. We'll do it. 100%. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned. Leave your comments in the comment section. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Let us know how you feel. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah, Uncut let us know how you feel. Hey. Let us know how you feel because get what? Yes. Watch me, ooh, watch me, watch me, ooh, you looking, ain't you? Hey, come in with you think, man. Don't be a stranger, man. Talk, talk it up. I like that. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you.